Hey, this is YBR back with Forza Horizon 3, and I'm taking another look at my Ferrari Dino. Hey, this is YBR back with Forza Horizon 3, so I'm taking one last look at my fancy Ferrari Dino before we go and actually drive it. And the funny thing about this is I'm looking around and there's literally nothing on this that actually says Ferrari. Like, you look on the back here, all it says is Dino GT. It doesn't say Ferrari on it or anything like that. And it really is a strange Ferrari because it only has a V6 engine. But it is still nonetheless a Ferrari and it's one of the nicer looking ones if you ask me. But I'm kind of curious, what would it look like if we went and removed the bumpers on this thing? So I'm going to go to the upgrades real quickly. Custom upgrade. And let's see, can we remove the bumpers on this thing? Yes, we can. I don't know if I like it though. Hmm, I really don't know if I like it. I'm going to try it out. It looks different. I just don't know if it's bad different or good different. Rear doesn't look too bad, actually. Rear is nice and clean without it. The front, though, it just kind of looks like it's missing something when you look at it from that angle. Like, it's a little too plain. And then right there, it looks okay. Ah, we're going to have enough from the weight reduction on the Ferrari that's already pretty light because it's so old. So install the setup. That is well worth the $200 and only 9 pounds. Each bumper only weighs 4 pounds a piece? That's amazing. All right, so about for two hundred dollars. Whoop de dee, that costs so much. Sh shoot, it should be free. I could do that myself. All right, let's go drive this thing around a bit. I don't know where we're gonna go, but we're just gonna see how it drives. We'll figure out where we're gonna go first. How about that? Let's go to Undiscovered Route. We'll just drive there. I do not expect this thing to be very fast at all, and it's not very fast. It has like below two hundred horsepower. So what do you expect from it? It was fast when it was new. It had very impressive times. It was slightly faster than the Porsche equivalent, I think. And that's really what mattered. Is that it was faster than competition. It doesn't matter if it's slower than a modern car. It was faster than its competition of the time. This thing revs really high, too. I like that. Whoa! I forgot left side of the road. Every time I start up the game, it always takes me a minute to remember, oh yeah, we drive on the left side of the road. I figured they are going to be on the right of me. And then all of a sudden, they're in my lane, and I got confused for a second. Alright, so here is the place I wanted to race. So let's see what we got here. Exhibition race. And, uh, we got two options here. This one looks very Ferrari-ish, so we're gonna do that one. Good, we do get to use my new Ferrari. Ooh, look at that, guys. He has a neat paint job. Those guys, not so much. There's his plane, like mine. I just, I don't care for paint jobs on my cars. I like them looking stock. That's just the way I like it. I either have a very plain car or a car with a stupid paint job. Oop. <laughs> what kind of start was that? It like started going, then it just gave up. And it's like, oh yeah, we're racing. So it kind of chirped the wheels again. That was just a super awful start. But apparently it was a clean start, which is worth 2,000 experience points. Do I deserve those? No. That was so bad. Oh, look, he has bumpers. I don't. So I can't rear end him because my car will get more damage than his. Ah, the benefit of bumpers. See, I'm looking at his car now. I'm like debating. Maybe I do like it without bumpers. <laughs> I'm all looking at his bumper so hard, I just crashed into a dude a little bit. Sorry! I don't know. It's hard to know, though, because it's not like on some cars where it's the American only got the bumpers. I think every version of this car had the bumpers, so it kind of goes with the body a lot better than some other vehicles, like the ones you have on some of the Lamborghini Countach models. Those things look awful! This one, though, with or without bumpers, it looks pretty good. Like, I kind of wish you had the bumpers, but they weren't chrome. Like, they were painted to the body. Unfortunately, I don't think that's an option. I don't think you could put like a paint job on top of the chrome bumpers, but it would be cool. It's one of those things you'd never do it in real life, but in a game, why not? Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at the cars ahead of us. We got Lamborghini, Porsche, Aston Martin, Ferrari. Oh, uh, the Aston Martin, he, he a little bit too slow. I had to brake so I didn't slam into him. Now he's zooming ahead of me. So he's not part of like the trio. We got Porsche, Ferrari, Lamborghini. That's the trio. Everybody else is just in the way of us three. So I gotta find a way to pass these two Aston Martins now. I think that's what the other guy was. I didn't pay too close of attention, but he had the right look to him. Actually, wait a minute. Ooh, that looked like it was a 250 GT. Not an Aston Martin. I might have been mistaken there at first. I just saw the green color and it matched the Aston Martin so perfectly. I said, oh yeah, that's another Aston Martin too. But then I actually saw the lights on it and stuff. It had circular lights and... I don't really know if any Aston Martins have lights like that, but I know a 250 GT has lights like that. I mean, it kind of matches the lights on my car. Ferrari was using circular lights back then on quite a few vehicles. Not like these two, though, where they're super iconic and they stand out. Like, that's obviously a Lamborghini Miura. 
The other one's obviously a Porsche 911 RS, maybe? I don't know how the trims exactly worked on slightly older Porsches compared to modern ones, but I know the lower end ones didn't get like a big wing like that thing had. That thing had a big wing on it, which makes me think it'd be like a RS or something like that. But on the other hand, it could just be a mod like how I removed the front bumpers and it's not a stock wing at all. I really didn't get that good of a look at it, and I'm not super knowledgeable in the Porsches of that era. And I'm noticing something, now that I'm in the lead, I'm barely getting any points. I'll get like a thousand points for clean racing every now and then, and that's it. So at the game, see, ultimate clean racing, a thousand points, and that's, that's gonna end unless I do something like this, where I just crash through things to kind of stack up the points. Like, the worse I drive, the more points I get. See, I got 1,210. Last time, I only got a thousand. But back to the topic of that Porsche. I know a lot of people really dig those cars. I can see why from their looks. They are nice and classic looking vehicles. But between the three we have right here, the Dino, the Mira, and the 911, I would be going with the Mira. That Mira is a beautiful car, and it's even more timeless than the 911 if you ask me. 911, it hasn't changed much. It's always had the similar look, but the Mira is just straight up, it doesn't look like other Lamborghinis, but it is a beautiful vehicle. But it's probably also the most expensive of the three. 911s were produced a lot compared to these vehicles, so I would assume they're the cheapest. And the next up is gonna be the Dino, because it's not a classic Ferrari like a lot of the other ones with the V12 and stuff. This is the Dino with the V6 and all that, so it doesn't have the heritage of the other ones. And then the Lamborghini has the V12, and it has the looks. It has everything you would want for a car of this era. Never a doubt in my mind that you'd win that one, boss. We actually had a real good variety of vehicles for this race. So we had a BMW 507, we had a Mercedes-Benz 300 SL, we had a Jaguar E-Type, and then we even had a Jaguar XK120, which kind of stood out, but sure, why not? All right, give me a Dodge Viper GTS ACR, although it's not the newest model. Ew, gross, I only want a new one. So give me the money instead. That was up at least, so 40,000 paint half. And we got fans too, but can't buy cars with a fan. So let's figure out where we're gonna be going before we actually drive. So pull up the map and, uh, okay, I see a PR stunt over here. We'll go ahead and check that thing out. Hopefully we get to use a different car than when I'm already driving for it. Mate, we got another one. Lily's double start. flying around. We're gonna have to start collecting classic cars. Or, you know, bonds. Turn left. All right, we'll worry about that later. I got PR stunts on the mind right now. Like, what if I wanna go in between these cars for no real reason? Ooh, that actually worked out. I figured I was gonna crash right there just trying that. I'm looking at the map, there is an XP billboard coming up. We'll go ahead and pop that thing and well, we only get a thousand XP, which really isn't that much considering I got way over a thousand just from driving. And look at that. These are the same guys I was racing. I could tell because that Porsche has a very unique color scheme to it. Well, maybe not unique in Forza Land where everybody just chooses like the top rated paint jobs. But it's not like I'm gonna find another one that just happens to be driving along next to another old classic sports car like that. It's just not gonna happen. All right, come on, dude. Come on, turn left. Turn left. He's so slow. Like, I wanted to cut in front of him, but I also didn't at the same time. The dude was in my lane. Drift zones. Turn in hard and use your e-brake to drift as far as you can between the flags. Well, let me say this now. This is not the car I would have wanted for this. If I'm going to do drifting, I want something with just a ton of power that I could just pull through the corners without a care in the world. Heck, I'd probably just use something with four-wheel drive. That way you could rip through here without having to worry about controlling the vehicle, really, and just let the four-wheel drive save you. What did you think? Not bad, huh? Those were my idea. Fans don't come to Horizon to cheer for traction control. That's not the end of it. Every time you score more than three stars, you earn stun points. So keep pushing it further. Hey, Mr. President. Our little festival is going gangbusters. Seriously, you've brought so many fans to Horizon that they're already signed off on another showcase race. I have the perfect bit of insanity planned. Meet me here when you're ready. Wow, the game kind of just didn't know what to talk about. Like, it's going from one topic now to the next. Oh. <laughs> now it's back to the old topic. It's just all over the place. That's not what I want to do. I want to go and do this drift zone properly. We're going to go and switch cars real quickly. It's only a mile drive away and then a mile back. Also, it looks like the game's running just a little choppy. It's not bad enough where it messes with my driving or anything, but every now and then I do notice a small drop in frame rate. I'm not sure if you guys are noticing it or not. But what I might do is when I'm back there, I might go ahead and restart the game as well because I know it'll put me right back there. And then that way, if there's anything going wrong with the game, it'll hopefully have fixed itself magically like that. And right there, we got 3,000 points. And again, the billboards only give you 1,000. The billboards are a joke. 
Oh well, it doesn't really matter. We are at our destination now, so let's go ahead and enter this thing as I also restart the game simultaneously. Oh, it's like real choppy right there. Although it always is. Okay, game has been restarted, so let's figure out what car we're gonna go with. We're gonna go to the cars I got. And what, how about a Focus RS? That actually sounds really promising because it has a drift mode. I don't know if there's any way to activate drift mode or anything like that, but it should be a nice car to try to do a little bit of drifting with, I would think. Let's take a look if it has any kind of paint job on it or anything. Oh, it does. What is that actually, like a time ninja or something? I can't really, like, it's a little too much glare to tell what's going on here. Hold on, what is this? It's a time demon or something weird. Does the other one have the same paint job? We gotta make sure this, like, they both got this paint job, because I don't know if I really... Like I said, I like my cars plain. I don't like having paint jobs on my car unless they're like intentionally ugly. This is intentionally ugly. It's a perfectly fine paint job. Just, it's not my style. But we're gonna use it just for a little bit anyways. We're only gonna use it to do the drift thing and then we'll be done. So I really don't care what it looks like. So I have one mile till the drift zone to figure out how this car drives. We can do that. Oh, well, okay. Everything else on the map's gone. Or did I just have like a filter set on it? No, it's on to all. Okay, well, fine. Then we'll go to the stupid freight expectations. Since you won't let me do anything else, Good game. Luck, well, if I'm doing that, maybe I'm going to grab something else. Ooh, but there's a barn find. Let's do the barn find instead. Oh, that's far away, though. I just said it, and it's like way down south. And there's Hot Wheels down here. Now, right, we're going to go way down south and find that car. I'm going to just cruise in my Ford Focus RS, which is not a stock vehicle, I'm pretty sure. Just looking at the ratings, it was rated way better than the car we were just driving, and statistically, it's not that superior, so I just have to assume it's been upgraded. And considering we're driving along at 125 miles per hour and still accelerating pretty hard, I'm gonna go with, yes, this thing has been modified. I would actually say this thing has been pretty highly modified, because now we're going almost 150 miles per hour and it's still pulling much harder than a normal Focus RS would be pulling. And we're doing really good right here to gather up all these points. Usually by now, an AI car would have just plowed in between the lanes like I'm doing and blocked me up. Kind of like what's happening right in front of me right now. Pile of cars over here. Come on, guys. You're in my way. Oh, goodness. They're going to crash. You idiots. You crashed. <laughs> That's funny watching the AI crash. It's like they are programmed to do stuff. And what do they do with their programming? They decide we're going to crash. You know, I should probably bank these points because that's like a lot of points just sitting there. That's almost 100,000 points, I think. Let's just go ahead and get those points so we can, yeah, 97,000 points. <laughs> there's, a, there's a new spin, or a new skill point. That was easy. Oh, actually, we got five of them, so what else can we get? Club League, don't know what that is still. I'm not making skins. I guess we could do horns, although that seems dumb. I'm not doing votes online, and head-to-head uh, -head races I don't do. So let's just get this one, because it'll unlock more things around it that I might actually want. Do I afford any of these though? Three, three, and ten. No. And I know there's also skills and instant rewards. I guess I probably should be looking at skills. Oh well, too late now. We're I already spent them. Well, actually, actually, I could go and spend some on the skills since I had two left over, couldn't I? Let's go ahead and do that real quickly. So we got speak into your horizon DJs and increase your skill multiplier much faster when a skill song is played. Except I don't have music on, so that's probably never gonna happen. Oh well. We can take a look at the things next to it, like this. Your near miss score skill is increased by 10%. Considering the fact that I just got about 100,000 from near misses, that I will use. And there's also one for passing. If it counted for passing traffic, I would use that, but it doesn't. Turn left. There's not as much traffic now, of course, though. Like, I got the skill all up ready, ready to go. I was like, oh, where'd the traffic go? There's nobody to near miss at. And now we're going to be going off-roading, so there's going to be even less people to near miss. Oh, the GPS is telling me to go with the boats. I remember the boats. I saw the boats on the, like, first time I tried to do Forza Horizon before I abandoned it. And I was just really intrigued about the boats just being there. I ended up looking it up to see if it was real. I think I figured out, yeah, that was a real thing. Like, in Australia, I know there are real places where they break down boats and all that and all kinds of other countries. But I think there was also one in Australia as well. I don't know, so long ago. It's hard to remember. And I have no idea what the GPS is trying to make me do here. Just... Go through the dirt, go through up on this road, here's a road, here's another road, you're back to a paved road. Magic. Thanks, GPS. You're great at navigating. If my real life GPS did that, I would be furious. Like, you can't be taking me down these dirt roads, man. My car will not do good on these. We got Focus RS, though. This thing is all-wheel drive. It can go through anything. Yeah, it's a lowered hot hatch, and the all-wheel drive is more for just putting down the power and getting through the corners better. Don't care. All-wheel drive means it's an off-road car automatically to me. That's my logic. Ooh, sign, sign. 
busted that sign. Uh oh, I bust my car too. Make sure I don't bust my car. All right, what we're looking for is somewhere around here. I'm gonna slow it down to try to analyze the area a little bit better. So how big of a circle is this? Pretty big. So I'll have to do a little bit of searching. I don't need to turn around. I know exactly where I'm going. We'll start by checking this dirt road right here. See if I have anything off the side of it. Is that a, a billboard? Well, yeah, I'm going to get that billboard real quickly. Okay. Now, back to looking for some sort of barn or something. Oh, look, there's a dude right here. I like, smash into him. Hey, we have the same car. Or is this a... Is that a Fiesta or a Focus? I think it's a Focus, right? I don't know. We just have similar cars. We have Ford hatchbacks. Alright, do I see anything? Well, I can't go to the right because there's a wall there. So I'm thinking it has to be a little bit to the left somewhere. Uh, we're just going outside the circle, so let's just make our way back into it. Yep. Off-roading! Four-wheel drive! That's what it's for! A little bit of flight. Probably gonna be at the top of the mountain. That's what I have a feeling. Plus, when you're higher up, you can see things easier. So we'll be able to find it without having to look so hard. Maybe. Like, I'm not even looking for it right now, though. I'm just trying to climb the hill. <laughs> a little bit stupid of me, probably. Like, I probably drove right by it, and I'm just like, I gotta climb this hill. Forget the barn. We're climbing hills. Okay, we're at the top now. And I don't see a barn. Oh, but that is a nice view. Look at that. You can see, like, the islands and stuff over there. Well, kind of. The camera isn't exactly working with me. I want it to look upwards, but it's not doing that. Maybe if you zoom out a bit. It's a little bit better. So you kind of make out the shape out of there. It's not super detailed or anything, but it's cool that you can see that far out. So I'm looking around here, and I don't see a barn at all. Apparently, this is not the best location to search for things. I thought for sure it'd be great, but I think the camera ends up being the problem. Because you can't really like position the camera in a way where you can look around like if you're on person where you can look in every direction up, down, using binoculars and all that. So instead we're just going to drive around a bit to try to find it. We're going to go around like the perimeter of the area. A little bit on the inside though. So this way hopefully if it's on the right of us we'll be able to see it. And then if it's on the left of us we'll be able to see it as well. Just like try to be in that perfect position hopefully. Although there's a road right here. Maybe we should follow the road. Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. Although, I think I see something over there. I have found the barn. There's a little bit of a water in the way. Don't care. Four-wheel drive. Power through it. Here is the uh, barn. Well, maybe not. It looked like a barn, but I... Last time I just drove up and it said, Hey, you found the car. Good job. This time it didn't actually do that. So maybe this isn't the right area after all. Oh, well. Oh, wait. There's another building over here. All right. Try number two. And I found the car. <laughs> it's funny, in the cutscene, they drive up all calm. Actuality, I'm flying through the air as I go there. Every day is like Christmas morning with you. It's a Jag. Oh yes, it's a Jag. Mark II, if I'm not mistaken. 3.8 liter engine, racing livery. But none of that matters, right? I mean, it's a Jag. You feel classy just standing near it. I'll take it back to the shop and get it restored. I'll be in touch soon. All right, I'm going to be honest here. I don't care for that car that much. It's not one of the cars I think of when I think of a classic Jaguar, I guess. That's the main reason why. And it's not super pretty or anything. It just looks all right. Ooh, 20,000 on that billboard. That's enough for a spin. Let's spin from the inside of the car. Maybe it'll give me good luck. Except I can't actually hit the spin button. I got to go in the menus to do it because I hit the button, changed the camera, and it messed everything up, I guess. So here we go. Give me a Cooper S Horizon Edition. Sure, why not? Oh, don't give me that. Don't give me that. Please, no. Oh, we are never spinning from the inside of the car ever again. That went terribly. $10,000, and that's after it was doubled. That's the worst spin I've had, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, that'll do it for this video, though. Till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.